Yo guys, how's it going? I'm Alex, your host with Satan's Battle of the Bands 2023, and I'm joined by battle participants in Herita. Start with Jack, then we'll go Ty and Ryan. Introduce yourself and what you do in the band. I'm Jack, I'm the drummer, so I hit things quite loud and just make weird noises. Sick. We'll go Ty, go for it. I am Ty, I'm the lead vocalist of the band, and no matter how weird Jack thinks his noises are, trust me, the ones that I emit from my throat and a soft little area are much really So sit down and shut up, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> only you, Ryan, lad. I'm Ryan. Uh, I'm the, well, I'm the only guitarist, so I suppose you could say lead guitarist. Um, pretty basic, to be fair, though. I've not got anything like witty and funny to say beyond that, but um, <laughs> yeah, I just like play strings and that. Right, we'll start. We'll keep. We'll keep the order. Jack, Ty, Ryan. I like it. It's simple. It flows. It's on my screen. It's f-ing easy. Great. What was the biggest inspiration for you to join a band? You know, want to make music. Oh, that's such a hard question. I mean, that, I mean, it's was probably it when you met your dad's office. You are. When you met me at your dad's office when you were fourteen, and I was seventeen, you thought I was famous because I was in a metal band. That was it. That's why I wanted to join just because of Ty. That was. Nothing else. Green Day, not my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see a better reason. F- it, yeah, why no. not? No, you meant to give the serious answer now, Jack. That is the serious answer. It's all you, Ty, lad. Uh, it's all me, is it? Well, mine was meeting Jack. No, believe it or not, we could probably trace it back to when I was about nine, uh, and I watched the Mighty Boosh for the first time. And there's an episode where Noel Fielding becomes a goth. You know, the, the Nana get an episode. And he has these golf girls around. I was like, well, I was just like, well, that aesthetic's sick as f-. Um, I'm about that. And I've always, I was always a bit of a weird kid, you know, like, I'd always been to like horror films and, you know, scary shit and that. And, you know, yeah. metal music just goes hand in hand with that. So I was like, you know, I started getting a bit more of a personality, developed, you know, my own sense of indi- individuality. And I um, developed my music taste. It just got, you know, heavier and heavier and heavier. And then I think I got to about, about like, I think I was in like year five or year six. I thought I'd love to be in a band. If you say, and I was always, you know, I'm, I'm from quite a musical family, so we're always singing in the car and stuff. And uh, I always loved the idea of being able to play the electric guitar. And then when I got to high school, uh, obviously I started making friends that were into it. My best friend from primary school played the drums, and me and him used to, you know, like share bands and shit ever since we were like 11. And then at one day I just said, F- it, we're going to start a band. And like, you can't play anything. And I was like, I'm going to learn to scream, I'm going to learn to sing, I'm going to learn to play guitar. And, yeah, man. you know, like two years later, I was actively in a band. So, yeah, it was just the love of music and general kind of horror, counterculture, gothic style. And that. It just all snowballed, really, and, like, you know, magnetically attracted all, like, the uh, things that are associated with it. So, yeah, just been an edgy kid, basically. And now that's I'm 25 before doing it. So, yeah, that's about me. <laughs> nice. Go on, Ryan, lad. Um... For me, when I was like six, seven years old, um, I had um, my granddad was in a in a band. He was a guitarist, uh, not metal or anything like that. But I took like quite an interest in it. Um, but I kind of sacked it off for a few years until I was like maybe eleven, um, mm-hmm. and I had some friends that were like getting into metal and stuff. Um, and I just used to be like obsessed with watching like music videos for like metal bands and shit. And I was like, mate, this looks so sick, like. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of like yeah that's kind of like it for me i was like yeah i want to do this like it just looks it just looks sick what was the first gig you guys played as a group together so like us three together because me and jack have got like a pretty interesting history over like the past five six years um but like if you want us three together as like, like this solid unit like this entity of the band our first gig was um but it was only it was either a week wasn't it was it 24th 26th of april or something and that was uh we were main support for graphic nature at booming leads nice no way but if you've got any funny stories or any like whack shit that's happened while you've been doing the gigs or recording anything i could tell by your face you've got something tied come on give us something <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah i don't believe in the i don't believe in the terms cancelled i don't believe in the terms you know not suitable for work i don't give a don't shit, putting so. all of this shit out <laughs> <laughs> Professional, then I'm all about it, and I would actually praise you for being the first interviewer to ever try and breach those uh, boundaries with us. I give you a lot of respect for that. So, I mean, you can probably take a story from each of us because I think that'd be interesting because Jack's always kind of been the brunt of the jokes and the um, you've been like the janitor, aren't you, for a lot of the the, uh, 
bad stuff that's happened, Jack. And Ryan's the, like the new guy still pretty much. So he's probably got like a fresh one. And I'm like the worst offender. So if you wanted to do that, obviously this is your interview, but I think that might be a cool way to do it. So like Jack gives one, Ryan gives one. Then if you want, I can start you off with a pretty extreme Yeah, go one. for it, man. Go for it. Right, okay. So um, before Inheritor, uh, me and Jack were um, previously in a band, the, the band that actually we rebranded and created Inheritor from like the bones and the foundation of that band. A uh, much different kind of vibe. Like Jack was in that band for a couple of years with some other guys. Uh, he ended up getting Rob in the band, who's our uh, ex-guitarist. And uh, we had another friend playing bass. So we were a pretty solid unit. We were playing shows and that for a couple of years. Had, you know, quite a few tunes out. All know each other, really good friends. And uh, um, I think this is probably like tw- some point in 2019. I'm not going to like name specifics or locations or anything because I don't want a lawsuit or none of that shit, but <laughs> we were working for a headline show and um, we're all like, you know, metal fans and heavy music fans at heart, but this band was more like alternative rock grunge and we were all just happy to be playing together and like nobody made the step to change it until yeah. like in lockdown when we rebranded as Inheritor. So at this at this point in our career, we're just playing these like alternative rock and grunge songs plodding along we're, we're getting ready for this headline the last song we play is like a five minute long number and um yes yeah, so we, we're getting bored as playing it the bass player just looks like he's lost jack's there still struggling with the basic beat but nailing it uh i just can't keep still in the room and rob the guitarist has just been really professional so you know you've got all the facets of a band there yeah so we're in a we're in a studio and i'm not going to say where it is and name locations um but let's just say that the people at the studio are very attentive, clearly. So I think I just I just been on a um, you know I'll probably get cancelled for saying this, but I just read Manson's book, so I was like ultimate oh, no. ADHD. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I was like I was at the peak of like tie bin tie. I just watched the dirt. So um, you know you can put this shit wherever you want. I don't really care. I don't think Jack and Ryan do, but. <laughs> so we're playing along to this like five minute song we're in like the massive musical middle 32 section uh, it's just going on and on we're all getting really bored there was no vocals in the bridge for me i just take it upon myself we're in the studio i just i just drop my pants and just start hearing it and all over the floor um just because why not so i'm just everywhere uh rob our ex guitarist just kind of smirks and laughs and they just away as if like oh my god what am i seeing uh, <laughs> ethan ethan's just just ironically and not literally himself and jack's like looking up at the cctv camera looking at me going stop it stop it and then he's like mouthing clean it up clean it up so me going full ozzy <laughs> osborne i looked at the jack and i said you want me to clean it up no. we're all still playing we're all, we're all still like no one's missing a note or a beat which is quite like, impressive well, it's just testimony to how long the guys have spent with me on stage, I think. Um, I go, I'll clean it up for you. So I get down on my hands and knees. I literally go, and oh, oh. proceeded to, I proceeded to cover Jack in it. So he had to finish the rest of the song covered in. It was proper tasty, to be fair. Oh, you know dude. I've still not even watched yeah. since then. He hasn't watched since then. We did say he was going to get an AIDS test, but we convinced him that he can't catch it twice. So, <laughs> so yeah, that, that starts things off. And now the thing is, nothing can get worse from here. So whatever happens in the interview, we'll also I mean, he's um, we, me and Ty, we do this thing where like we'll try just annoy each other on stage. So like throw water at each other, throw drumsticks or whatever at each other. Um, <laughs> this one time we were doing playing the breakdown, kicks in, he turns around. In being him, I promise not. We're not weird. Just on stage, <laughs> he, he spits. His phlegm comes out, lands on my eye while I'm playing, and I can't stop because I'm halfway through this song. So I've just got his dirty phlegm like, on my eye, and I'm screaming at him. I mean, so oh mate, it was grim. Yeah, <laughs> we won't do that in money. I promise. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> no, we're only 20 minutes, but we'll just be warm. These are all like, you know, like big sets that we do. We just end up I'm like, bringing a f- umbrella. I don't trust you. I'm bringing <laughs> yeah, no. an umbrella. That's my suit if I were you. Bring Riot gear. <laughs> Come on then, Ryan, if you want to give a... If you, i tell you what, Ryan. Even if you haven't got one now, like one that you've heard of some sh- I don't know. Well, you did one with Tom, didn't you? Like breaking his back here. Oh, sh- Yeah, yeah. The last gig that we played... Um, 
literally a couple of weekends ago now. Um, we're friends with some guys in another band called Raining Death Valley, and uh, one of the last songs we were playing on our set, uh, This Bleak Bliss, it's got a pretty like fat breakdown at the end of it. Nice. Um, and the guitarist from this other band is like, you know, I want to jump up on stage just before this breakdown. I want you to throw me into the crowd. So Ty's like, yeah, obviously I can do that. Because, like, the guitarist is quite a small, like, short little little guy, to be fair. So Ty picks him up, and while he's over his shoulder, he's still, like, screaming the pre-breakdown lines. Um, and then, just at the right time, he throws him, and everyone in the crowd's just like, F- this, I'm not catching you. So everybody, like, <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> and he just sort of, like, eats sh- and just lands on his back. It was pure coccyx to concrete, and the thing is, I didn't throw him lightly because I thought I need to get some good height on it, you know. So he's got time to come down. The crowd can all move in and catch him. I must have really launched him because you see in the bit there's a video of it, and like a couple of people try it, and then they see the force I threw him with, and they're just like, "Nah, I'm really good." That is cool, bro. Yeah, literally. <laughs> have you guys got any? new projects you want to talk about like people can keep up to date with any new songs anything you're working on as a group that you want to talk about yes yeah, so we've got um, a new single coming out 26th of may don't know when this is coming out but 26th of may. Um, it's, it's, it's you know we've been pushing it all on socials it's a bit of heavier side but a bit of more something that mainstream people can have a listen to it as well but yeah it's, so got, like, all the elements, yeah it's got all the heavy elements there but it's definitely like the most accessible as well Oh yeah, it's really catchy for like, you know, even people that aren't exclusively into metal. Like, you could probably get people that are into rock and stuff listening to it as well. You know, there's not, there's a lot of clean vocals in there. It's just really like a bouncy tune, you know, it's like really catchy. Nice. And we've uh, got some more music on the way and stuff, but uh, you'll probably hear that on our social soon, so. Yeah, dude. See it, but... um, won't say too much yet, but we've got we've got quite a lot of stuff coming out. Don't yeah. give it all away yet. No, no, yet. <laughs> yeah, the new song's so, uh, called 30 Feet Beneath. That'll be out um, on Friday. And we've also just done a run of t-shirts. Like, we've done a merch drop with it as well. So, nice. yeah, there's uh, that's pretty much the focal point uh, going yeah. onwards for the, you know, like, this particular period. You mentioned merch. Oh, that's mad. I've got this t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's plug right there. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> that was good, that was good. Cheers, time. <laughs> They rehearsed this shit, man. They rehearsed this shit. They rehearsed, mate. That's just straight, <laughs> straight to it. Well, I'll tell you what. Some people might say that that's a shameless plug, but it's going too far. But just like telling you about the year in story, if you never go too far, you will never go far enough. So, yeah, we're not sorry. <laughs> Have you guys got, as a, like, as a collaborative or individually, a dream collab? you'd want to do with a band say like alive dead retired none of that but if you could collab with one group who would it be like like an artist like a full band it's up to you mate uh, you two go because i'm gonna have to think about this i would say boom with their eyes and just a off tie because they ate some um <laughs> i'm just, yeah, just i'm just not bothered and i like i like talking because they're not you <laughs> um no, it's fair. I think, like, live-wise, I think we'd all be pretty set of, like, supporting Motionless or something, or I know we'd like to get, like, Spencer from Iceland Kills on a song, but Ty pretty much sounds exactly like him, because he's copies him, so... I don't sound like that. I look like a <laughs> shit version of him, I sound like a <laughs> The Wish. You look like, yeah, you look like the Wish version of him. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Making me kills when you're being interviewed by Jay from <laughs> Satan's. <laughs> Uh, go on, Ryan. Is yours? Is yours? Is yours? Bronze from Attila. Would you like to uh, supply some dirty chugs for him to spit up or else? Some... You know what? Attila would actually be pretty sick. But I think like slightly just above that. Even if we were just like, like main support for a mate, Parkway Drive. Nice. Okay. Absolutely nice. insane. That's sick. I'd say like dream, dream like support slot or like you know touring with. Like, see, I don't want to be a d- but like, all the bands I love are like pretty boring now. Um, I think like if there was a point in time, I'd want to, I'd want to like go on top with some of like the the nineties alternative metal scene, you know, like the Mansons and like bands like Hurl and stuff. I'd like to jump on like a freaky tour with someone like that. As as for a collab, maybe I'm I'm quite into like 
you know, like some really aggressive industrial and um, like, uh, uh, what do you call it now? Like terror electric body music, you know, stuff like stuff like all the weird goths in like Florida and Germany listen to at the rave. Like, it's a really <laughs> nice. Uh, there's a band called uh, Cyclone Nine from America, and their um, their front man slash the guy that writes everything, the multi instrumentalist, is a dude called Nero Bellum, and he's in a band with ex Marilyn Manson guitarist and bass player Tim Scald, and you know they do like a lot of electronic industrial shit together. I'd love to jump on like an electronic tune with him, like yeah, you know, just find some dirty screams that kind of stuff yeah nice. like within like you know the, within like the metal car and metal sound like you like Ryan said you know playing playing alongside someone like motion and stuff park would be amazing but yeah, just man. like my own selfish artistic uh, desires yeah I'd like to collab with like uh, like Cyclone 9 or um, Nero Bellum just because he's like the evil more twisted gothic Trent Reznor so, yeah yeah man that's tight I like that so obviously you guys are performing in, in the Battle of Bands alongside 19 other bands throughout yeah. the event. Do you have any words for those bands? Any hate, any advice, any wisdom, any of that shit? Hype them up, <laughs> chat some shit. Come on, give us something. Some <laughs> shit. I can probably do all in a sentence if you want. Go oh, for I'll, it. Don't, don't <laughs> behave. Poetic as ever. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll throw the, I'll throw the deadish Conor McGregor not, not to be taken seriously or is it comments first. So I'll say, if you're playing before us, Good luck. If you're playing after us, good luck, because, you know, we're here with it's every on the floor. Line, for line and every note. We're taking heads and we're coming for throats. But honestly, just, you know, let's just have a good day. Let's have a laugh. Let's treat it like a little mini festival or whatever. Like, you know, it is what it is. You know, there's a couple of metal bands playing and, you know, we're all competing for a common goal. So, you know, let's have fun. Let's do it. Let's just yeah. show that, you know, heavy music's alive and well. So what is the social media for your band? Where can people find you online? Go on, Jack. Right, I'll take this one. Inheritor Noise. <laughs> That's it. Like, just Inheritor Noise. Like, it's not, not that hard. <laughs> and so you just, want you everything? There's too many That's... eyes for you. You can't spell it. I'm, not, I'm the selected, mate. I won't spell it. Uh, <laughs> it. We're mainly on Instagram, Facebook and uh, TikTok. Nice. Okay, well, you, people know where to find you now. Lovely stuff. Keep up to date with any new music coming out. Guys, I've had a fun time. I hope you guys have had a fun time. This has been great. And uh, yeah, come down to Battle of the Bands and see you in a hair. Fuck some shit up. Yeah. We can go into we will fuck some shit up.